guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video to share with you. So, so today's video, we are going to be talking about makeup products from my collection that I can't ever declutter for. Um, I'll give you guys all of the in-depth reasons for each one. It's basically like a collection tag kind of thing where things that I personally cannot ever part with. So that's what we are talking about. And I'm so excited because I am doing this vid video in collaboration today with LS. If you guys are not familiar with her, I will of course have her channel linked down below. Um, she is so awesome. You guys really do need to check her out, especially if you like project panning videos. Her project pan videos are amazing. Like I can't, I can't even describe how good she is at panning products. And I wish I had that talent. I'm always telling you guys, like, I wish I could make my products look more used. I wish I could use them more. And she is like the queen of project pans. Yeah, she does a lot of project pans. She used to do a pan porn series, which I love watching. I don't know if she's still doing that. I haven't seen one in a while, but she just is amazing at project pans. But she also does a lot of tutorials on her channel and she's very, she's got a very uh, unique voice and a very unique point of view. And I love that about her. Her videos are not boring. They're always fresh. They're always new. She's very creative. And I just, I think she's great. So you definitely need to check her out. And again, I will have her link down below. When you go over to her channel, make sure you let her know I sent you over. So I have been seeing a lot of other creators doing this video recently and I just thought it was a really fun idea, especially since I have a declutter series coming up very soon, which I keep talking about, but I need to sit down and film it. Um, I thought it would be good to kind of share with you guys some of the products that I don't think I can let go of and I don't think I ever will be able to let go of. So that's what we're talking about today. But since I have seen some other creators do this video recently, I will link their videos down below so you can check out some more if you like this topic. Uh, but check out Elle's too while you're at it and yeah, let's jump on in. So I have a whole stack of products over here. Like I said, we're talking about things that I will never declutter and a lot of these are more like collector's items and that's why I, that's why they hold a special place for me is because they are more collector type items though. Um, but yeah, the first items though are not necessarily collectors but they are very sentimental to me so I won't ever declutter these. And these are from the Balm. So I have the Hot Mama Blush and I have the Bahama Mama bronzer and these are very special to me because um, I've had these probably maybe four or five years now um, but my youngest daughter Alexa she, she likes to play a game with me called makeup store so we go over to my Alex nines and she has a little plastic shopping cart and a register like a cash register that talks and stuff and we um, go through and do like uh, you know, shop inside of my stash and she buys these every time we play and and she's always like, where's the hot mama? So I have to help her show that her where they are. Sometimes if they're my everyday makeup chore, she panics and she's like, mom, did you get rid of them? I will never get rid of them because she loves them. And they just have such a special place in my heart because every time I look up at them, I think of her and how much fun we've had together over the years playing that game. She's been playing that game with me since she was two. And sometimes when we're just bored and we're tired of board games and we have nothing else to do. She's like, mom, let's go play makeup store. So I love that. And for that reason, these are never going anywhere. Even once they're expired and gross and I won't use them anymore, I'm going to be hanging on to these because they are special to me and to her. Okay, uh, the next product is actually one of uh, Alexa's other favorite products, but this is from Love Lux Beauty. This is the Fantasy Palette. So this is really like a highlighting palette, but you can use it on your eyes too. It's a beautiful palette. Like people should be talking about this eyeshadow palette more, you guys. It is a fantastic formula. They are extremely intense, gorgeous powders. They are so beautiful. Um, I love this palette so, so much, but um, I wouldn't declutter this for the same reason as the last products. Lex Lexi really loves this palette and she's asked to have it when I'm done with it, but I am not done with it, so I haven't let her have it yet. Um, but I mean, it's a it's a mermaid riding on a unicorn. Like how could I not love this palette? It's definitely a collector's item for me. But in the meantime, this is still fairly, fairly new in my collection. I've just had it since just before Christmas and um, I will continue to use these for at least a couple more years. After that, I will save this palette because I think it's gorgeous. You're gonna notice a theme with packaging in this video. <laughs> 
So the next product that is actually really new to my collection, but I know that I'm going to be hanging on to this product for a very long time. I can't see myself ever wanting to declutter this, at least not any time in the near future. This is the new Smashbox and Vlada highlighter. I did completely buy this for the packaging, you guys. I totally did, but I still really do like this highlighter. I think it's a beautiful color. Uh, by the way, I picked up the Gilded Rose shade, which is kind of a peachy uh, pink golden highlight depending on how it catches the light. It's a really pretty highlight. It's definitely a little bit more of a natural highlight. It's not like super intense, which I totally appreciate that. Having more mature skin, I don't like to go crazy with my highlighter anymore. And so I actually really appreciate that. Plus it's gorgeous. Like I just absolutely love this whole uh, almost like melted gold rose design. And then it carries through the same design on the actual powder. I just think it's stunning. And yeah, this is definitely something that I have no plans to declutter. All right, next I have another highlighter. This one is not because of packaging that I wouldn't declutter this. This is definitely more for the product. This is from NARS. It is limited edition again, and this is called the Bonk de Sable Highlighting Trio. It is no longer available online. Unfortunately, a lot of these products are not gonna be available, but I will link down below what I can find for you guys. Um, but you get three highlighters in here. I love the formula of these and I love the colors on these. The nice thing about all three of these shades is they work for my skin tone, which a lot of times with highlighter, highlighter palettes, you're, you're gonna find a shade or two that aren't gonna work, um, but all of these really work for me. So this one I like to use more as a blush or an eyeshadow, but these two I use as an actual highlight, but all three of them are gorgeous and stunning and um, the actual formula is really, really nice. So um, I will not get rid of this. I'm super happy that I actually did end up picking this up because I almost missed it and I'm happy that I decided to get it because I love it. Next up, I have the Becca Champagne Pop Palette. Uh, the one that was released with Jaclyn Hill. So I know everyone talks still about how great this palette is and unfortunately you can't get it anymore. So what can I say? Limited edition. It's just one of those things like, especially as a YouTuber, it's so hard sometimes like when you really love a product like this, it, it feels, you have this like pressure to declutter it because people really get upset when you talk about things that they can't get that they missed for whatever reason. I am a makeup lover and this, this product and a lot of the other products that I'm gonna mention, even though they are limited edition, I'm not going to declutter them because I love them so much. So that's the makeup collector and makeup lover in me that I just can't part with it just because it's not available anymore, if that makes sense. Um, but this palette is such a great palette. So you do get a full size champagne pop and Prosecco pop in here. And then you have three blushes from Becca. I like the fact that you have all that product in one place. I do have a full size of each of these, which I really don't need because I have them here. Um, actually, no, wait, I think I gave the Prosecco pop to my daughter. So I only have champagne pop in a full size outside of this palette, which again, though, I don't need that. So I'll probably end up decluttering that. But the three blushes in here are really beautiful as well. So this is one of those palettes that I just can't part with even though it was limited edition and you guys can't get it I just have a special place in my collection for this so yeah that is definitely something I can't declutter all right so now we're gonna move on to some eyeshadow palettes now these two eyeshadow palettes are limited edition however I have been seeing these pop up in and out on different websites I've seen them on Nordstrom's website recently Kohl's has carried them recently Ulta I think had one for one for like a short period of time so you can kind of get these, like depends on when you're looking, if that makes sense. They keep bringing them back and taking them away, which I hate when companies do that with limited edition, but I'm talking about the Lorac Mega Pro palettes. Specifically, the one and two, I do have back there number three and four as well, but the Lorac Mega Pro one and Mega Pro two are my favorite of the Mega Pros. And these two, I can't ever see myself decluttering. The other two, I might eventually someday think about getting rid of, but these two are definitely not going anywhere. And what it is about these ones, I love the formula of Lorac Pro Shadows. It's my favorite formula for eyeshadow, but the color selections in these two is what really gets me. You get so much shades in here, so many great shades. The top two um, rows are all matte and the bottom two are all shimmer, so you get everything that you need to come up with so many different looks, which I think is fantastic. I'll give you guys a close up. This is the number one palette. And this is the one that I saw on Nordstrom's recently. If I can find either of these palettes available on a reputable site uh, right now, I will link them for you. I do advise not to purchase these from like eBay or Amazon. Uh, you never know if you're gonna get an authentic one, but I, like I said, I have seen these recently on 
trusted sites. So definitely take a look for that. And if you're watching this video like way in the future, just Google it and see if you can find them on any of those sites I mentioned. I've seen them on, like I said, QVC, Nordstrom's, all over the place. And then this is the inside of the Makeup Pro 2. So that's what the Makeup Pro 2 looks like. This is probably my favorite of the two, but I just love both of them so much. It's hard to pick. Um, but as you can see, these are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Again, top two rows are your mattes, bottom two rows are your shimmers, and you could come up with so many looks from this palette. So I just find it to be one of those go-to palettes that I use over and over again, and I just love it so much. Last but not least, I have a couple of Kat Von D palettes to mention. You guys knew I was not gonna be able to do this video without mentioning these palettes. So the first one, this one is still available. However, it is very limited edition. So if you want this palette, get it now because once it's gone, it's gonna be gone. That's how Kat Von D does her limited edition. If you miss it, it's most likely not coming back. Um, so this one here is the, the anniversary palette, the 10 year anniversary eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D. And the colors in here are stunning. I This is very recent that I picked this up, you guys, so it's still in my everyday makeup drawer. I have not used all the shades in this palette yet, but I have started playing with it, and I really do love the formula so far. Um, I don't like to give a full opinion on a palette until I've tested every shade, but I've used a lot of the shades and I'm really enjoying it. The mattes are very blendable, but very pigmented. The more metallic finishes go on the eye beautifully and stay on. There's no fallout from what I've ex uh, experienced so far. So I'm super excited about this, but what I really love, again, is the packaging. Um, I love any time that she has her actual artwork on her palette. So um, these types of palettes for me are a collector's item. So even if this palette was like 15 years old, I probably wouldn't use the shadows anymore, but I will probably still have this palette as a collector item because I think it is stunning. It is more like a piece of art to me. So this is something I will never part with and it will never be decluttered from my collection. And then along those lines, last but not least, this one you guys knew was gonna be in this video. This is the Mi Vita Loca palette. This is another palette people get really upset. This one in the Champagne Pop palette, people get upset when I show that I have this, but uh, this to me is definitely a collector's item. And the eyeshadow inside I think is okay. It's not um, as good as her formula in some of her other palettes in my opinion, but um, because of the packaging is why I will never get rid of this. I think this is stunning. As soon as I saw the artwork for this, um, like on Instagram being leaked and stuff, I was like, I'm buying that. I'm definitely buying that. That is a collector item to me. So I knew I was going to have this palette, but that's what it looks like on the inside. It's a beautiful uh, color wheel. You get that rainbow of colors and then you have those neutral colors on the center there. It's a mixture of uh, mattes, shimmers, and uh, like a satin finish. So you get a little bit of everything with finish as well. It is just a really good variety of shades and finishes in this palette. So I think that the design of this palette was brilliant. I don't necessarily like that it's a slip co cover. I wish that it was more of like a, you know, a flip top or something like that. But uh, like I said, this is just so stunning and so beautiful. This is not going anywhere. I'll give you guys a close up. So obviously Kat Von D is a very talented artist. She has, you know, had her start as a tattoo artist. Um, and then she had like a reality show, uh, you know, about her tattoo business prior to launching her own makeup line. So that's really where her roots are from. So, so I love when she does artwork like this on her products. I would really love to see her do that more often. Okay guys, so those are all the products that have a special place in my heart and in my collection that I will never declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, don't forget to check out Elle's video. I can't wait to see what she's including in her video. I wanna see if we have any of the same products or if they're all different. I can't wait to see what she has to show us. So I, again, will have her link down below. Go check her out, let her know I sent you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, and by the way, if you are new to my channel, almost forgot, if you are coming from Elle's channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you guys coming over to check out my video. Uh, make sure you subscribe while you're here so you can see future videos and click the bell button because notifications, as you guys know, are broken. So if you want to get notified of my videos, make sure to click the bell as well as subscribing. And I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.